hello and welcome back to my channel guys today i'll be showing you how to do a mileage correction on a prius 2008 generation 2. the first thing we're going to do is take off the screws that hold the back cover onto the speedometer two in the middle one on the top one on the bottom and one on the bottom left that are holding the white trim onto the black and we just need to pry them up from this position you can see these are the six connectors for the mileage We're going to be using dash fixer for this and the connectors we need for that is Mplex and software 13 cable. The board we're using for this is 93CXX. Once you've stabilized the speedometer, put some paste onto the connections. We're going to add small points of soldering wire onto each connection. That makes it easier for us to connect the cables onto these points rather than the board itself. Once all of the points have been redefined, we're going to start the dash fixer machine. Connect the Mplex and the board. And now each cable has a different number. If we go onto the manual for this, I'll show you what each color means. So first we're going to go on to Toyota. And then Prius. And this is C66. Over here you can see the picture on the top is the same shape as the Prius that we're opening up. And then the Mplex. Okay, here you can see what each cable stands for. The red cable is number one, and from there you can start marking the other cables. My cables have already been marked. We've put little stickers on it, and that makes it easier. And on this picture, we can see in which order we're supposed to connect the cables. That makes it easier for us to know which cable is which number. It's really helpful to have these cables marked before you're doing the job, because afterwards it gets really tricky and there's less space to work on and which will make it harder to know which cable is which number so the best thing is if you have them labeled you can put them in the right position and connect them properly so it's number one which is the red one on the most right connection and then number two number three number four number eight and number five you have to make sure every single connection the right cable and you don't make any mistakes in this at all 
we're going to start with number five as that's the most left I prefer working from left to right you can work from right to left or whichever way works better for you Carefully connect all of the cables and make sure that none of the connections are touching within themselves. So every single connection has to be separate, otherwise it will be a short circuit and that can cause issues for the whole speedometer. Once all of those are done, make sure you don't yank on the cable. And just connect it carefully onto the board. This is to make sure that the connections that you've just made, they don't come out. As you can see here it says remove the dashboard and disassemble it, we've already done that, connect the cable to the marked pins which we've done already. Check the soldering again which is just double checking over the connections to make sure that none of them are touching. Connect the clip to port 0 on the board and make sure you get pin 1 in the right place so the red one has to be on pin 1. Connect the clip to the Mplex and press program. Once you've clicked program the machine will automatically start to detect the data on the EEPROM. And as you can see the mileage on this is 52,000. We're going to go ahead and save it. And we'll name it Prius C66 2008. Once that's done you can click OK and go on change mileage. And you can put this to whatever the customer needs it to be and based on the MOT history and the service history of the car you can put the mileage to what it needs to be. After it's done working it normally shows data equal. On this one it says data not equal. But if we go back to the main menu and we're going to select Toyota and then Prius and C66 again so that we can read this EEPROM again. And go on program. And here you can see the mileage that we input that has been written on the EEPROM and the mileage has been changed successfully. And now you can go back and start to disassemble everything. We're going to take off the clip from the board. Now we're going to start taking off the cables from the PCB. All you have to do is make sure the soldering iron is hot and just touch each connection and the cable just slip. And the cable just lifts up really easily. Once you've got all of them off, just make sure all of the connections are still not touching. You have to make sure with this again. As when, the, when you reconnect the speedometer, that can cause an issue. So just touch each of the points and make sure they're all flush. And now you can just put the back cover back on and you should be ready to go.
make sure to like the video leave a comment if you have any suggestions and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the bell icon to get regular notifications of our new uploads thank you